I think this is great. It's good to see all of my classmates and the faculty and the staff. It's been a group effort, and with that group effort, it's just not my accomplishment, but my family and the colleagues as well, all the people who have put forth an effort to see that I get through this. So it's a wonderful accomplishment. Jesse Merrimond. Co oh, wait, wait, wait. Co-valedictorian, Hotchkiss Scholar, and High Honors. I was glad to go back to school. I met a whole new group of people outside of my own little world. Would I fit into their style, being a few years older than them? It benefited me to see people a few years younger. I think it benefited them to see people a few years older. And so we worked together, and I had my skills, which they learned from. They had their skills, which I learned from. And it worked out both ways, I feel. My fellow students were great. They were enthusiastic. They were open. They were honest. But we came together as a team, and we all benefited from the approach. Jesse Maribon. It was very difficult. The one thing about it is you get what you put into it, like anything else. Um, the more you put into it, the better off I think you are in the long run. It is with great pride and great pleasure that I introduce Jesse Merrimond as your valedictory speaker for today. Through my experience with all of you, I have learned so much. I better appreciate the value of multiple perspectives. You introduced me to new ways of thinking. When considering one's career, I believe there are two approaches. One approach is to dig deeper within that narrow focus. The other approach is to broaden out. So I felt that over the years, I had dug very deeply into medicine, and my next step was going to be broadening out because medicine is not practiced in a vacuum. Nothing is done in a vacuum. Broad thinking has a lot of advantages. It gets you out of your comfort zone. And to put your place into someone else's perspective really helps both that other person as well as you. It's important to look at the big picture and not just be a, a technician who does a job. I don't think my story is all that unusual. I was struggling with an issue that many of us face today. That issue is change. I know that the only constant thing is change and it ain't over till it's over, as Yogi Berra said in each of those. So now I have some skill, training, but more, more so confidence in order to go out and meet new people and speak their language. So with that, I think I can more control my own destiny. There's never a perfect time. We all have family commitments and job commitments, but one of my favorite sayings is that every journey begins with a first step. And we have to apply, we have to take that first step and jump into the program. So I think if you plan your path out and you have family support, anytime's the right time.